What is going on, you guys? My name is Rage, and we are back today with a Cosmic Crucible overview here of some of my attacks and defenses. Um, as you can see, uh, this is a clear victory for myself, so I figure I'd just go through my teams. Um, and also, I haven't actually made any videos on my team, so maybe this is able to help you guys give some perspective uh, for the current Cosmic Crucible setup, as well as my attack strategy and order. But uh, just a heads up, guys, because this is one of the few instances that we are able to actually get this um, additional Crucible credits here that allows us to purchase Teal Crucible. Credits, uh, excuse me, teal gear in the supply store. Uh, it's where I would strongly encourage you guys to, you know, prioritize offensive teams as opposed to defense. But then um, keep in mind as well, um, in order to actually get rewards for the isolate blue four, um, you have to stay in this range um, in order to to get that right. So I think um, what was it level? Yeah, like right now I'm in the current bracket that actually rewards it, but I forget if it's platinum or or above that actually allows you to get that so just keep that in mind check your rewards here to see if it rewards it um this is ideally what everyone's trying to go for right but as you can see a clear victory here so i'll show you guys my defenses as well as my attacks overall and what worked but starting things off let's go ahead here so um you know nothing crazy to be honest because uh, a lot of my focus is really on the offensive aspect but skilled batteries uh for room number eight excuse me room number six uh makes the most sense to have the secret avengers uh with castro and nick fury it seems to do decent for me um and makes the other opponents have to you know utilize a strong team to take them down as we'll see in the results there um i got my young avengers here actually in cosmic crucible and they have definitely been the challenging team to go up against um for my enemies just because this is pretty much my my top defense team and i really really encourage you guys um they just have such strong capabilities they pretty much need to utilize a Eternals mixture or some sort of Weapon X to take them down. And they're very strong being in that Cosmic Crucible catastrophe room here. Just because, you know, um, all characters who passively revive 1 HP. And as well, um, any uh, characters that are Cosmic, they get speed reduction. So it helps with, for us when we're up against any of the Cosmic characters. Mystic Amplification Room uh, number 4. I just have a random cluster here of my Heroes as Guardians mixed in with Emma Frost, Mr. Sinister, Surfer. Uh, makes the opponents think. Um, I'm using just a strong synergy of characters to put in there and seems to do pretty decent. My top 2 defense team now is for the Critical Mutants Room number 3 here. They do really, really well. Uh, definitely puts my opponents on their toes because they have to utilize a team to actually, um, you know, you know, combat Rogue, uh, who's really part of that defensive capability of, and, and starting and implying, applying and, and pro-focusing all her negative conditions at the start and being a taunt. Uh, it gives a lot of protection to my Astonishing X-Men, and it seems to put uh, my opponents in a pinch, which is awesome for me because it gives me the, the bonus for points if they fail or have to take multiple attempts. Next up, um, room number two here, nothing crazy, just uh, a mixture of some of my stronger characters that aren't really in the teams. Sure, he has the defensive capability with speed. Yo-Yo, Black Bolt synergy to have the offense down, but as well as offensive output. And then we have T'Challa and Yondu just working off each other and having high speed. So this is like a high speed defensive team. Uh, seems to pretty de do pretty decent as well. Makes my opponents have to use an unconventional team to take them down. But I mean, nothing crazy to, to scream home about just because I'm just trying to utilize some characters I don't use in offense and, you know, slot them in where I can. And lastly, my Black Order here, um, who's fallen out of the meta quite a bit now. Didn't even ever even get a chance to actually build up my Cull or uh, Corvus before that happened. But still, still seems to apply some pressure from my opponents. And, you know, they still have to use a synergy um, to beat the Black Order synergies, right? So they're not they're not a team that you can just auto. You definitely need to still think about it because of all the benefits and buffs they get. But yeah, um, overall, guys, um, this generally gets me... Um, you know, my opponents that I'm up against are pretty powerful too. They usually have like a couple million above me and... Um, they can usually wipe me out, but generally, if I get more points than them, you know that still counts as a victory, right? So starting things off, let's get let's go ahead in the order that I showed you guys here. Um, so as you can see, with my attack here, uh, we were also up against a Secret Avengers mixture, so the exact same team as mine, and um, you know I had to utilize my new warriors and Eternals just to strip away all the positive buffs. Uh, maybe I could have done this more efficiently, but I mean, I found that this team just, you know, completely stomped uh, the Secret Avengers. And um, if, you, like I said, if you don't, um, if you don't need them to, to be utilized in another room, I highly recommend it. But I saw that their power level was quite high, and as you can see, my team was only 807k, so I really needed some strong um, offensive output. As for my opponent, they actually used the Heroes as Guardians to take them down, so that's a really good counter. But take a look at that, though. They needed a Heroes as Guardians that actually punched down on my team so um the opposite was for me right i actually punched up so uh just food for thought heroes as guardians does work well but you do need them pretty built up in order to be successful uh next up 
uh, we have my stage 5 uh, attack here as you can see um, I use Shang-Chi mixed in with Mega Red and Lady Deathstrike because of that synergy weapon X uh, as well as um, the, the slotting characters like Hela and Dr. Octopus um, just because I find they're, they're really good in, in offensive output when we have control. You know, Doc Ock being able to stand negative conditions, Hela being able to spread negatives. Um, this worked well against uh, a Web Warriors team that I punched up against. So, um, And fortunately enough, what I was more surprised about was no one actually getting taken down. So that worked really well because I maximized my victory points there. Uh, Defense-wise, when I was attacking... Uh, excuse me, when they were attacking me, um, this is my Young Avengers I had, right? So, as you can see, it looks like that synergy of Omega Red uh, with Doc Ock and uh, Emma Frost and Mr. Sinister Phoenix. This was a good combo to actually uh, punch down my Young Avengers. So, this is something we could probably potentially get some ideas from. This is a good mixture, and they were actually able to take down a pretty powerful Young Avengers team, too. So, um, good food for thought. And if you notice in my enemy, too, um, they didn't have a lot of ISO blue. So, uh, they actually, you know, punched down on my team, but... Um, they didn't have as much statistical boost as much as my team, so that's really good to see. Uh, definitely something I'm gonna I'm gonna take home for research because I think that's a really strong offensive team right there that we can utilize later on. Room number four. Uh, so this is the one I you know was thinking a little bit about because uh, this is the reason why I love having my dark hold on offense because I can even punch up against another dark hold team. So. Uh, first attack, I did cancel out because if you don't have the right speed and RNG right from the beginning, uh, it's just not going to be any fun, right? Um, so what happened is I think my Morgan Le Fay actually got ability blocked at the beginning, so I couldn't do her thing. And then, yeah, but, uh, I knew it was going south, right? But afterwards, after I canceled out and got a little bit of luck on my side, um, you can see we were still able to punch up 200k against his Darkhold team with defensive capability. So for, for this reason, I have to keep Darkhold on the offense because you can see exceptionally how well they do. And again, when it's a battle of points, uh, I'm going to make sure that I can at least clear all the rooms. And that gives me a shot at least at winning the round. Um, because, you know, likewise, my opponent using that team on defense means they lose such a powerful offensive team, right? So it could work in my advantage as well. But that's pretty much what happened there, guys. Um, we have the defensive capabilities here. It looks like the Bionic Avengers, my opponent was able to build them up. And this easily took down my mixture here. But they did have to punch down quite a bit. So keep in mind, I'm up against someone that has a higher TCP than me. But I still was able to pull out the win because of my offensive output and being able to out-strategize out my, my opponent here. Stage 3, uh, nothing too crazy guys, I actually love using my web warriors and taking out spider punk, subbing in Dr. Doom, um, it seems to give that extra juice they need, especially healing capability, so that's how I've kind of utilized them in my previous attacks, but you can see um, they, you know, they don't have an issue at all whatsoever with the astonishing X-Men, um, and this is just a basic team, so I like to keep that as a, as a pseudo team for for uh, backup for sure um, especially with the rng web warriors right uh, so it looks like this one uh, like i said earlier this one definitely gave my opponent a hard time they were basically trying to figure out how to take down this astonishing x-men team of rogue and like i said earlier guys um this one with my young avengers they are they really seem to be a wall so you know hopefully this helps you guys if this is um if these are all characters you have already but it looks like my opponent tried to punch down with a uh, heroes for hire didn't work um they brought in the bionic avengers and it still also did not work and then lastly, they brought in that mixture that actually took down my Young Avengers. And even then, that also did not work. So um, I would have mirror matched, to be honest. Um, if I'm up against the Astonishing X-Men team, I would use mine um, to, to mirror match. But because I have them on defense, it's kind of nice that um, they proved to be a very um, you know uh, defensive wall that I can rely on. And again, it's because of Rogue being added to that mix to apply those buffs and being able to taunt and take away damage. So definitely a good lesson here, guys. Hopefully you can utilize this as well in your strategy. Stage 2, uh, nothing too crazy, guys. I saw that there was an Infinity Watch team, and um, honestly, there's only so many teams that can take down a full-on Infinity Watch, so I mirror matched there. Uh, it was pretty much an even battle, as you can see. Um, almost got lucky in the sense that all five of my characters survived, but Moon, Moon Dragon went down. That's okay. Still got the full clear points. Um, Defense-wise, uh, let's see here. My opponent used the Heralds for Hire that they couldn't use to finish up my Astonishing X-Men mixture, and that was able to, to round out this the rest of this mixture here. So even then, they still had to use such a strong team to take away uh, from this pseudo team. So just keep that in mind. I like having mixed teams, hybrids, because it makes my opponent have to you know think about what they're attacking. Um, so this is where it got a little tricky for me, guys, because at this point, I actually left stage one for the very end for my attack because I saw that, you know, their Wakandans were only 380,000. Um, so what I did first is I actually threw in a sack team. Um, they have so many buffs at the beginning. So for me, it, was one, it wasn't a big issue. 
I threw in my sack team, so Spider Punk, um, you know, Kitty Pride. I got uh, Viv Vision, Phoenix, and as well as, as well as Hulkbuster being newly brought up. And I just threw them in there to take the boss and damage. And then I threw in my Symbiotes, and they made short work of these guys. Mind you, I punched down significantly against Wakandans because you can see the power difference, but that gives you a sense of how powerful the Wakandans are in Cosmic Crucible. Definitely a team I need to work on because my Wakandans aren't even close to this. So um, you can just see how much value they add. But definitely a highly recommended defensive team guys Wakandans are just making short work and cosmic and if this team was stronger I don't know if I would have been able to clear this so I'm glad that this was sub built and the last but not least with my opponents having to deal with this uh a black order team right so this is what I was saying earlier um you can have strong characters left over but even then that still may not work against the synergy of the black order so you can see my opponent try to utilize the strongest characters they had that weren't in mixed teams in this case the skill military and still did not work against uh, my Black Order, and then they had to actually bring in the A-Force um, with a combination of Hela to take them down. But that obviously results in more points uh, taken away and resulting in the finish that we see here. So um, there you guys have it. Um, the only team that seemed to survive from my side anyways was my Astonishing X-Men team mixed in with Rogue. So uh, that's good food for thought, guys. I hope this is able to help you and just kind of see the alignment. But uh, right now, again, um, with respect to where I rank, I'm in that 1500 uh, zone here for the tribunal rating so keep that in mind um, still pretty mediocre i'm not too crazy i like staying in the middle here where i'm slowly progressing but as well as still capitalizing on the iso 8 uh, blue level four there you guys have it hope this helps thank you as always and i'll see you guys in the next one